Welcome to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on decimal place values. Before you start the lesson, you should make sure that you're comfortable with whole numbers and with whole number place values. So make sure you're good with those and let's get started. So what should you know? Aside from what I just mentioned, you should make sure that you know that the decimal point is very important. Probably the most important part of decimal place values is knowing what the decimal point is. It separates the whole numbers from your decimals. Whole numbers represent complete numbers of whole items. And decimal place values represent pieces of an item. So that's really important. Decimals actually represent part of something, whereas a whole number represents an entire amount of something. Therefore, a decimal place value represents something that is not even one whole. And decimal place values will always end with THS. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's say we have the number 1.1. Like I said before, the most important thing is knowing that this here is our decimal point. And the decimal point is incredibly important because it separates the left side, which are the whole numbers, from the right side, which are the decimal place values, or our decimal places. You might hear it either way. Whole numbers represent numbers that are complete, complete wholes, like the number five, that's five apples, for example, or 10 oranges, or whatever it may be, any whole number. But decimal places, these numbers here, represent numbers that are pieces or parts of a whole. To the left of the decimal place value is our ones place, and to the right of the decimal, the first place value to the right of the decimal point is our tenths place. And remember, it's really important to remember, it ends with THS. So, this here is one whole, one complete square here by itself. One tenth is basically one out of 10 pieces. So if we took our whole number and cut it into 10 pieces, one tenth would be this much. This whole thing is one, this tiny piece is one tenth. And an easy way to help you remember the decimal place values is by knowing your whole number place values. Because to the left of the ones place is our tens place and directly to the right of the decimal is the tenths place. That's gonna help us later on with other place values. Let's take a look. So let's say now we have 1.13. Like I said before, knowing our whole number place values to the left of the decimal point will help us remember the names of the decimal place values or the place values to the right of the decimal. So what place value do you think our three is? If here we have our tens place, and across we have our tenths place, and here we have our hundreds place, then what do you think we're gonna have over here? Well, that will be the hundredths place with a THS. So here we have three hundredths. So what does this mean, three hundredths? Well, it means if I had my hole here, and I cut it into 100 tiny pieces, then here, three hundredths would be three of these little pieces. This is one hundredth, two hundredths, and three hundredths. So this all together is three hundredths. So now we don't only have 1.13, we now have 1.137. My question to you is, what is the place value of the seven? What do you think? Well, basically the most important parts of helping you remember the names of the decimal place values are the ones place and the decimal point. Why? Because across from that, there's a pattern. Because here we have the tens place, and across from that, we have the tenths place. Here we have the hundreds place, and across from that, we have the hundredths place. So what do you think the seven will be if this here is the thousands place. Well, that means we would have seven thousandths. And what does that mean, seven thousandths? 
Well, that means if we had this one hole here and we cut it up into a thousand tiny pieces, we would have seven of those pieces. So if this is one thousandth, then we would have seven of these tiny pieces. So this is one thousandth, two thousandths, three thousandths, four thousandths, five thousandths, six thousandths, and seven thousandths. But what could be even smaller than that? Let's take a look. So here we have 1.1375. So what place value do you think the 5 is in? What place value is this? Well, remember the pattern. And remember the most important part. The 1's place value and the decimal point help set up a pattern that makes the place values easier to remember. Here to the left we have the tens place, and across we have the tenths place. Here we have the hundreds place, and across we have the hundredths place. Here we have the thousands place, and all the way across we have the thousands place. So what place value do you think the five is in if this place value is the ten thousands place? Well, that would be the ten thousandths place with a THS at the end. Remember, all of the place values to the right of the decimal end in THS. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and ten thousandths. So what exactly does this mean, five ten thousandths? Well, it means if we took one whole and broke it up into ten thousand pieces, ten thousand small pieces, we would have five of those tiny pieces. And they would be so small you could barely see them. Remember, as we're going further to the right, our place values are getting smaller. Here we have a tenth, here we have hundredths, here we have thousandths, a ten thousandth, one ten thousandth would be tiny. This here is one ten thousandth. If we broke this up into ten thousand tiny pieces, this is what each piece would look like. And we've got five of these pieces. So here's one ten thousandth, two ten thousandths, three ten thousandths, four ten thousandths, and five ten thousandths. And the decimal place values can get smaller and smaller and smaller as we keep going to the right. However, I highly doubt you're going to see anything much smaller than ten thousandths. All right, so let's have a small place value recap. Basically, let's see if we remember exactly how to say each of the place values. What place value do you see here? That's the number 9. This is a tenths place, so that would be 9 tenths. How about here? Well, that's the number 1, and the place value is a hundredths place, so this is one hundredth. How about here? This is the number 6. The place value is the thousandths place, so this is six thousandths. And how about here? Well, that's the number eight. This is the ten thousandths place, so this would be eight ten thousandths. Now, let's just say that I decided to annex some zeros here, and I ask you what those place values were. Could you use the pattern to figure out what each of these place values was? Well, let's give it a shot. Remember how we had the tens over here, so this was the tenths, and then we had hundreds over here, so this became hundredths, and then it basically goes on. We've got the thousandths, the ten thousandths, and what goes after ten thousandths? That would be the hundred thousandths. And what would go after hundred thousandths? Well, after 100,000, you go into the millions, so this is the millionths place. And on this side, after millions, you go into 10 millions, so this would be 10 millionths. And after the 10 millionths place is the 100 millionths place. I just wanted to cover this just in case you see some questions where the decimal place values go beyond ten thousandths. I don't want you to feel completely surprised. 
So what place value is the 3 in? Well, here's our 3, and the place value there is the thousandths place. How about here? What place value is the 9 in? Well, here's our 9, and what place value is that? That is the tenths place value. How about here? I just want to take a sec to say that this question is a little bit different from the last. In the last question, you were asked for the place value. And the place value is just a place value of that digit. For example, here the place value is the tenths place. Here the place value is the hundredths place. Here the place value is the thousandths place. And so on. But when they ask you for the value, the value, not place value, when they ask you for value, it includes the number in that place value. So for example, the value of this highlighted digit is not just hundredths, it's seven hundredths, because this is the number inside of the place value. Value includes both the number and the place value. How about this question here? Again, they're asking for the value of the highlighted digit. So that includes the number and the place value. That means that the value of the highlighted digit is one ten thousandth. It's not just ten thousandths because that's just a place value. But the value includes the number inside of that place value. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. Hit the pause button and when you're done, unpause the video and followed by a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answers will be displayed. Ready, set, go. All right, let's take a look at our answers. Number one is thousandths. Number two is ten thousandths. Number three is tenths. Number four is hundredths. Number five is hundred thousandths. Number six, now remember it's a little bit different here because they're asking for the value of the underlying digit, which means you need to include the number itself. Therefore, the answer for number six is eight hundredths. Number seven is four tenths. Number eight is six thousandths. Number nine is seven hundred thousandths. And number ten is nine ten thousandths. So what did we learn from this lesson? The blank is important because it separates whole numbers from decimal place values. The decimal point. When a decimal point is in a number, values less than one are represented by decimal place values. Remember, to the left of the decimal point are the whole number place values. To the right of the decimal, which represent values that are less than one whole, are the decimal place values. Decimal place values are located to the blank of the decimal point. Well, like I just said, they're located to the right. Every decimal place value ends with the letters THS. Starting from the decimal point, the decimal place values are tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Though you may not use them, the next four decimal place values are hundred thousandths, millionths, ten millionths, hundred millionths. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions? Comments? Leave them down below. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.